Okay, so beautiful beings, thank you so much for being here. We're going to talk about soul wounds, how to really tap into them, how to really, really discover them, how I discovered mine, and yeah, basically my journey with these tools to heal myself. So if this topic sparks your interest, just grab a cup of tea, grab your coffee, and let's get started. I have been a spiritual junkie or nerd for the past like 10 years, nine to 10 years. And I've pretty much seen a little bit of everything, you know, like the Enneagram, your astrological chart, attachment theory, uh, the five wounds of the soul. And although these tools are amazing and are really, really helpful for our healing processes, I think due to the popularization of them nowadays in social media and like this booming of spirituality and wellness, our approach towards them has become a little bit more quick. And it becomes like this consumption approach to spirituality and towards our healing processes that by nature are really slow and really organic. And when I approached those tools in the past, I had this very mental approach to it, but I, I wasn't aware of it because I didn't allow myself to feel that pain, to feel that void and to really see what it was telling me. And that's why I'm making this video because this year has been pretty, pretty transformative, but I had to keep aside a lot of the things that I was doing before, like reading like one book a, a week or rushing myself to learn more, to be more, to go to another technique and just sit with my feelings for a bit and see the true transformation take place. And that's why I wanted to make this video <laughs> to maybe help my old self, like my younger self, that was just taking this like from this mental perspective and not seeing the true potential of these tools that resides in the feeling, in the pain, and in the uncomfortable space that is just within us. I think it's important to ask ourselves, why should I, in the first place, take a look into my, into my soul wound? Why shouldn't I just live my life as I was living it and just be happy and content with what I know? And the answer is that if you don't know your wound, if you don't know the underlying emotion that is running your life, then you won't be able to take decisions from true freedom because what will take the decisions will be your wounds. If you don't act on your wounds and those emotions that are in control of your life, those emotions will keep controlling your life. Those emotions will keep on sabotaging your relationships or will keep attracting the type of people that you are surrounded with that keep hurting you and keep you in this loop of unsatisfaction. So just by being aware of the wound, you can start to change things, to have a little bit more of space, of range of decision to operate differently in the world and in your life. You become more the master of your life. And from that space, I'm just going to share the steps that I did to be more aware of these wounds, of these feelings. I'm not an expert in this topic and I'm not a therapist. So I highly encourage you, if you're going to dive into these topics, please do it with a company of someone, professional help, a therapist, a counselor, a coach, whatever you trust and whatever you feel, just go into that with all responsibility. And yeah, I'm just sharing my experience, but just be mindful that this process really can be very heavy. So it's good to be in good hands. So the first step is pretty obvious, but it's the hardest and is feeling your feelings and start to see what is the narrative behind them. So most of the time, feelings and thoughts are connected. Some feelings have 
this pretty clear voice that come out of them if you truly stay there feeling it they have a narrative they have a word start listening to that voice of the feeling what is it telling you in my case it said something like i'm feeling lonely i feel so unvalid unworthy i feel that i'm not heard not seen stay with that and just start writing that conversation start writing what those feelings are telling you the exact words that they are telling you the second step was trying to remember what was the first time that i had this thought or this narrative came and it usually resembles to our childhood is basically like echoes of your inner child of a situation in your past that had this huge emotional imprint in you that it just stay consistent throughout the years and you can track you can trace that same emotion to a certain moment and place in your life And the third step is where you actually take these tools, your tool of choice, whether it's astrology, whether it's the Enneagram, whatever you like. Now it's the time to actually feel through those tools. So for example, in the Enneagram, you started taking number by number and seeing the core wound of each Enneagram number and seeing, okay, this, I, I relate to this wound. I relate to this feeling, I relate to these behaviors. The more you started being aware of these feelings, then these tools become more handy because they are like these blueprints for your healing, for your growth. So you start having this conversation from the inside to the tool in order to mirror yourself and to see what is going on, how you can heal them or how that wound has played for you in the past and then you will be surprised because in the past maybe you thought you thought you were some number or you had this specific wound but then when you actually feel you realize that it was completely different <laughs> and it's this is not about just like following the textbook it's more about feeling it's more about yeah feeling <laughs> feeling the textbook <laughs> so in that sense, you can start to really start your healing process and incorporate these tools to aid you in your process. And lastly, just enjoy the ride. You know, this is a lifetime process. There is no perfection in the, in the healing process. There is no such thing as perfect. And now I think the gift of these tools and the, the gift of the awareness of the pain and the, and the wound they carry is that you can choose differently when you are under stress. When you are facing a moment of pain, stress, uncertainty that is really triggering you, then you can like stop for a minute and say, whoa, this is my wound, this, this behavior I know, this behavior is telling me something. So you can pause yourself and not go into this spiral and go down and down and down. You can actually have the chance to stop and say, well, I know this, this is from my wound. This is what I do when I'm feeling hurt. To be more specific, in my case, I recognize that I had like this abandonment wound. So every time I, I am under stress, I try to cling into other people or I try to find connection like from this anxious place. Like I want connection, I want connection. So I started over, I start over giving. I start being really anxious about relationships in general. So every time I'm, I do this, I just calm myself. I start to soothe myself. I, I just start nurturing myself and giving more love. And if I ask for help, then I am not so attached of the outcome of the other people, what, what will happen. Because my ego, my wound wants to have like this certainty that we are going to be together and like I'm not going to be abandoned. But I know like my adult self, like my higher self is okay with that and has the energy to replenish. I'm learning to enter relationships now more from freedom and detachment and just like 
really letting go of expectations of people. We, we have some company that we can help, but the healing is just ourselves. So just follow through the path, follow through the messiness of this process, that it's not linear, it's not perfect. And just, yeah, just go with that. So beautiful people, I just wanted to share a little bit about my journey, how it was, and I think that's just basically the message of this video. Feel your way through the spiritual tools you got, feel your way through them, surrender to the pain, surrender to the feelings, and start having a relationship with them. Start having conversations with your pain, and you will see that you will have some pretty transformative insights for your life. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. All the love for you. Uh, please follow me on Instagram. I'm creating a lot there. I'm just like putting daily art and inspiration there if you, if you are into it. And here in YouTube, I'm, I'm a little bit all over the place. I'm figuring out like my schedules and my energy, how they fit into this platform. I'll try to come more, more regular. So, okay, all the love. Have a lovely day, evening, night, whatever. Please create art, please heal, and let's keep evolving together. All the love. Bye.